I'm Celeste Luna. I'm a marketing strategist here at BSA. I'm joined today by Dr. Kershid. He's our neurohospitalist. We're going to be talking about stroke for stroke month. So Dr. Kershid, if we could just start out with um, the different types of stroke and how they affect the brain. Well, basically there are two major types of stroke, ischemic stroke and hemorrhagic stroke. Ischemic stroke, basically in this situation, there's obstruction to the flow of blood to the brain leading to the brain damage and the hemorrhagic stroke in which there's a bleeding inside the brain or inside the covering of the brain which again causes the brain damage. The first type of stroke basically most commonly happens with a blood clot breaking off or forming inside the brain blood vessels and causing the obstruction. The blood clot stops the cut of the blood supply and causes the ischemic damage to the brain. On the other hand the hemorrhagic stroke this bleeding inside the brain, causing the brain damage. Okay, okay, and so with either type of stroke, do the signs and symptoms vary or are they about the same? The signs and symptoms do vary, but you can have the same weakness, you can have the same confusion, disorientation, but the most common symptom which we see with hemorrhagic stroke is a headache, especially sudden onset, and a lot of time you will have nausea, vomiting, and loss of consciousness or altered mental status. While the ischemic stroke, in which there's a cut of the blood supply, usually the patient will present with weakness, balance problem, speech problem, like slurring of speech cannot talk, vision problem, uh, facial droop, you know, those kind of things. And so if somebody is displaying these signs of a stroke, what should be their first steps? If experiencing this sign of a stroke, the first thing they should get help. They should give 911 a call and get to the hospital as soon as possible. That can make a difference between you being an independent person or a person who has disability which can be lifelong because we have treatments okay, which can potentially reverse the stroke symptoms, but the longer you wait at home, you're losing valuable time. So that's the first thing, if it's possible. If for some reason you cannot get help immediately, okay, then at least make sure that, you know, if you have a chance to check your blood pressure or sugars and everything, so make sure that those things are normal. The, but the most important thing is getting help as soon as possible. Yeah. Don't stay at home. Don't stay at home. 